Hey Virgo, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for the week of October the 27th through November the 2nd. What messages for guidance do we have? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages for guidance do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? October the 27th. Okay. Well, that's too many. What guidance do we have for. Ooh, that's why. What guidance do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? October the 27th through November the 7th. What messages for guidance do we have for October the 27th through November the 2nd, 2019? This is for Virgo. So, all right. Virgo, we have divine talent. So let's see what we have for that. It says, you are a talented soul. Over many lifetimes, you have developed your spiritual abilities to higher or to channel higher awareness, attract healing energy, and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you. Your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you. Your talents do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value. Do not be afraid to use them. All right, give me one second, guys. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for October the 27th through November the 2nd, 2019. What messages of do we have? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October the 27th, October the 28th, October the 29th, October the 30th, October the 31st, November the 1st, and November the 2nd, 2019. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages of guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Ooh, Virgo, Ten of Swords. So I feel like you're in a state of embracing that something has ended for you. Um, the Ten of Swords does represent that you survived it, but it does represent that that was a difficult time. Seven of Swords here. I feel like you guys have to escape a situation. Escape. And there was some heartache. Ten minus seven is three swords. So there's most definitely some heartache and sorrow from the situation. With the hangman, I feel like you're in suspension. I feel like you're in a state of, of really needing to see something from a different perspective. There could be some unstable efforts that you're putting in into. Three of Swords. There we go. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're needing to see this severance from a different connection. Three of Wands here. This could have to do with multiple people. And that may be the heartbreaking thing. But three of wands here, I feel like you're really trying to in, uh, establish your strength. Queen of Cups here, this could be you being nurturing to self, loving to self, really putting that unconditional love into yourself so that you can heal. I feel like there could be some movement forward or some communication forward. Saturday, Four of Cups, I do feel like there may be some disappointment. So this could be a week of disappointment, but I feel like you need to kind of see things from a different perspective. The worst is over. I do feel like that you need to see that, but you're still in a state of discontentment here, which by this reading, I can understand. So Seven of Swords here for Sunday. Why is the Seven of Swords here? 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 The Chariot, Four of Swords with the Six of Swords, that's Ten of Swords. So someone is really finding their road to the river. Someone is really finding their motivation to move for 10 swords to put an end to some difficulty. So you're escaping a situation. Ooh, escape words. You're escaping a situation. Embracing that something has ended. I do feel like you're in a state of confusion or you could have some options to move forward. With the hanged man, I feel like you're in suspension. This is the hanged woman. So you could be in suspension. There could be a woman that is in suspension. Why is the hanged man here? Universe here with the Page of Cups. I feel like someone is inspired to end a cycle here. Two of Cups to end a relationship. Two of Swords. I feel like there is a blocking that is going on. Ten of Wands because of some burden. Someone's creating a blockage because they're wanting to release some burdens. Three of Swords here. Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is Three of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands and Justice. So I do feel like for some of you guys, you're really standing up for what you believe is right. 
This is the Three of Swords. You seven in a connection. You're moving forward because you're standing up for what you believe is right. With the Queen of Wands, you're in the space of uh, asserting yourself. That's why we got the Hanged Woman here. You, this is a feminine energy, and it may be a masculine energy really in a feminine space of receiving the ending of a situation, allowing something to end and severing a connection. I feel like there is an establishment of strength here. Why is the Three of Wands here? I feel like you want to manifest new things in. Why is the Three of Wands here? Ten of Pentacles here. You're manifesting something stable. Nine of Cups, happy. Eight of Wands, you're most definitely. Some of you guys are moving into another relationship or this is what you're manifesting. And I feel like those ships are coming in. But you do have to, Queen of Swords, make the decision to sever the connection. We got Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Cups here. So I do feel like this is a feminine energy that is going through some sort of ascension. Queen of Cups here, really being loving, nurturing to self. So with the Ace of Cups, yeah, someone's making a decision to move toward a new opportunity, really overcoming someone that is detached from them. Page of Pentacles, someone understands their work, so they're really impulsively moving forward. I feel like someone may have gotten, like, like someone feels like they were betrayed. So someone is kind of removing them, themselves from the situation, really escaping the situation. Five of Wands here, someone may have had some conflict. There could have been a fight. The fight may, may have you know, gave someone the strength to kind of take that leap and just move forward. Eight of Wands is about moving forward. Why is this Eight of Wands here? 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 Two of Cups here. Lovers here. Shit me. Someone's moving, making a decision to move forward. Making a balanced decision to move forward. I feel like maybe the challenging information, whatever was communicated, whatever this challenge information that was communicated, someone is making a decision to move forward, maybe moving forward into a new relationship. I'm going to be real with you, but I do feel like whatever it is, it's balanced and someone's willing to put the work in necessary in order to move into, move into the sun because those, those wands are moving into the sun. So four of cups here. Why is this four of cups here? Why is this four of cups here? Death here, six of wands. Yeah, someone's ending a relationship, moving toward victory. Death, six of wands, ten of cups. Someone's moving toward emotional fulfillment for self. Very content about that. Knight of Pentacles here. Someone has been in this space for a long time. Someone's embracing that. Look, this is over. I'm escaping this heartache. I'm escaping being in suspension. I'm choosing to love self here. Most definitely. So let's see. What guidance do we have? Oh, wow. We have artistic expression and find the blessings in your current situation. I feel like for some of you guys, you're in a space of needing to find the blessings of your current situation. I feel like you needed to be true to who you are. I just saw it come out of the closet. Fertility. There are some new things that are brewing or growing for you. You're in a space of healing right now. So right now, I do feel like you're moving forward, like I said, into a new connection, following your heart and opening your heart to love. This is all I have, y'all. Peace.